Hi, it's Brad Shores with Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons. On today's lesson, we're going to look at uh, the classic jazz ballad, Summertime. Most people that have studied jazz will come across this song fairly early in their studies because it's, uh, it uses one chord a lot. In this case, uh, in this key, it's in D minor and it uses the D blues scale. It's a great way to incorporate the blues scale into your playing. And uh, the reason I like it is because you can use the blues scale practically over the whole song and still sound okay. Uh, there's a couple other chord changes you might want to know, and that would be G minor, which is G, B, flat, D, and uh, A7, which is A, C sharp, E, and G. And if you know those, then you can do a lot of, uh, you can make more uh, customized. Also, there's an F major chord that comes in about major 14, uh, and the G minor chord, I believe, is about major 12 on this sheet that I'm playing off of. So, and I'll talk about when it's going to happen. When I uh, hit those chords, I'll try to mention it. At the beginning, we're just going to play through the melody a little bit, and then I'll say improv, and I'll start calling out some chords for you. Here we go. just D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D. They're pretty compatible. The one has, has the A flat. I like to use that because it's called the blue note and it has a really nice effect. The other part I did was I, I outlined the G, B flat, uh, D chord. And I also played the F major, F major scale. If you look at something, the D minor scale and the F major scale are the same scale, they just start on different notes. For instance, here's the D scale, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D. Here's the F scale, F, G, A, B flat, D, C, uh, sorry, C, D, E, F. And you see they have the same notes, they just start in different places. They're related, it's called a related minor, it's a whole nother deal. But uh, on this one, if you want to work on your D blues scale and work on some of these patterns, the double stops, I did this one. Um, one of my favorite ones, the A flat to A to, to C. I play the A flat first, then I play these two, A and C. And when you hear the D, the D minor scale or the D minor chord behind that, it really sounds good. So I used a little bit of that. I did some scale wise passages. That's just. I did the scale coming down uh, in that way, or 
any other thing, anything you play in the D minor scale is gold on this one. Especially, I played the E a couple of times. Here's the chord. But here's the chord, here's the, the, the note that sounds good on this chord. Sorry. It's called the nine. It's the ninth part of that scale. You can tell how great that sounds over that chord. Especially if you repeat it, like we always talk about. Repeating it like that is great. And even an embellishment. E flat to E. On this, on this particular song, that E is a really nice tone. It's sort of dissonant, but it really sounds good. So that's, the, uh, that's summertime. And again, lots of repetition on this. Uh, repeat, like so we've talked about. Double stops, like we talked about before. And the blues scale. This one is specifically, I like to do summertime when I want to do the, blue, the D blues scale. You can do it both octaves. You can do it low. Here's the second octave. But you get into those higher notes and they don't speak that well. So uh, that's pretty much it for summertime. It's a great, a great one to work on your blues scale and it's a jazz classic and everybody likes it. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching and I want to uh, encourage you to uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see the new videos when they come out. And if you have music needs for sheet music for your steel drum, go to tropicalstores.net. Also visit panland.name.com. It's a social uh, site for pan players from all over the world. You can see some uh, free music on there sometimes and there's videos, comments from people all over the world. We'll see you again next time.